Good day, good day, and how the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, or as the cops call me, Mr. Winchell. <laughs> no cops today, but well, well, we do kind of have cops. <laughs> Look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, kind of a I don't know. Uh, it's not an unboxing. This because I I didn't pull any of these out of a box. But I went to um, kind of my lo local diecast club meet. And um, yeah, well, anyway, there's a guy that uh, has a YouTube channel. And I'm going to put his uh, YouTube uh, ditty up here so you can go see that. Champion DJK. Yeah, good friend of mine, Dave. Uh, and he has a YouTube channel. And he has been running... Uh, for 74 uh, consecutive um, weeks, he had been running a Matchbox Monday. And I suppose I should uh, release this on a Monday to pay homage to him, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that works out. But anyway, um, if it's a Monday and you're watching, homage to you, Dave. <laughs> There you go. But anyway, so uh, he got through this uh, collection that he had gotten uh, through a friend of his that passed away. And if you ever follow uh, Dave, you'd kind of know the whole story. But anyway, he uh, went through the collection, uh, sold off uh, for the family and stuff like that. Long, long story, but go over and check his channel out and uh, he'll get you the whole story. But anyway, Matchbox Monday, he would uh, do uh, five or six cars. It was just a five or six car long video really kind of cool and i would always get si excited when he would show a land rover off and i'm like hey dave you know I'd, I'd buy that whenever you're ready anyway so yeah i got some uh i got some things he he finally hung the hat hung the hat up on this series and uh so now he's uh just uh what's he got 10 car tuesday or anything like that well anyway just go check him out but anyway let's move right along so i got these from him and um, at the last diecast meeting, now I'm going to uh, tag, um, if I can do it, uh, put another uh, tag on the video because I had already done a video on this Rollomatic, um, what is it? Number 20 Police Patrol, which is a Range Rover two door. Now, the guy that he bought this collection from, uh, he collected a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff from way back. So I'm going to bet that he pulled this out of the box. I don't even think this was uh, even in a blister pack. I think this was in a box. There's no special variations. Um, clear window, I guess maybe that would be the only thing is it's a clear window issue. And uh, now that I'm looking back here at my collection, yeah, that might be uh, kind of special because uh, normally it was uh, a amber colored window. And here, let me just uh, pop one out here real quick here. Uh, as far as what I'm talking about, the windows uh, had, well, I guess that's a clear one too, isn't it? Oh boy, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a variation that had a yellow window right there. There you go. So uh, that's the variation, but uh, yeah, mostly they had clear windows. They were opaque, so you couldn't see, you know, the mechanism. This is a Rollmatic, and it, uh, the wheel would spin, and it had a little toggle like there, right there. Boy, if I could get to the frame here, I'm getting all flustered here. But uh, there you go. There's a tog there that would uh, spin around. Now this one doesn't roll all that well. It's it's in mint condition. I'm not exactly sure what is going on with the suspension uh but it is a cherry piece and he gave it to me for a good price uh it says five but i think he gave me a better price on that because you know he's a friend of dan O. <laughs> the next piece that is really nice and exciting uh not as in uh cherry condition but still something kind of hard to get a hold of is this one the site engineer uh rollomatic does have some uh, damage to the beacon there, but uh, but a very nice very nice uh, example. Otherwise, this one rolls this one rolls a little bit better, or at least rolls. And uh, I do happen to have uh, an orange one 
um, and see how they match up here. Yeah, they, you've got to watch the variations on these. Uh, I know that there is a variation that this side, the stripes are going the wrong way. Uh, that I do know that off the top of my head. But uh, there you go. So another ad, uh, as far as I know, that this is the only second one that I've got of that. Let me just spin my cart around here. Yeah, yeah, the old uh, jammer there. So this is my only second one. Now I can display it left and right, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. All right, uh, next let's talk about these uh, defenders here. Well, let's take this uh, out of here. He had this bugger, and, uh, you know, if you got rovers, you got to have trailers to uh, pull behind them. And uh, so he get, had this, uh, he listed on his, uh, he, uh, he's got a Facebook page. Uh, Champion DJ's uh, uh, little car lot. I'll pu I'll put a link in the uh, description below as well as his channel too. But uh, so I, yeah, this is kind of hard to find with the tampos on it. Once again, from uh, uh, I believe it's Chuck's um, collection. It does have the door, but no creatures. No creatures included. All right, but it has the tampo. It has the tow hook, and it's all in intact so and the, and the top window isn't cracked that's usually how it comes so you know i i do collect uh kind of when i you know for the right price i do pick up the the trailers because they do hook up to your rovers all right talking about hooking up this one here this came in a five pack um and uh it comes with a trailer or a, a raft boat with it this one off little rough little rough but not too bad but these um uh, defenders and and the um, due to the date no date pending of this recording how do you say that well anyway when I recorded this I have not yet done the defender uh, the Land Rover 90 casting review yet uh, this goes all the way back to uh, 1987 150 second scale because there is such a, a thing now, I will probably on the tail end here promote the other ones that I have done, the Matchbox. I've, I've done the, the Defender 110. I've done the Discovery. Love that casting. I've done the Freelander. I love that casting, but I haven't done this one. And actually, the Defender, well, the Defender 110 I, it had three parts to it. The Defender and the Freelander had two parts to it. So this might end up being three parts. And that's probably why it's taking me so long to get together and and uh, putting it up. So there's the uh, Red Valley Camp, uh, kind of a kind of a, even though it's in a five pack, it seems like it's it's always available. But a lot of times, you know, this front uh, grill is our uh, front bull bar is kind of messed up, um, and um, all the time, all the time, they these are. That's a downfall for having a Land Rover is these sharp edges on the corners uh, always get scuffed up. So that's a very nice one. Very, very nice and low. Look at that jumping Rovers. Holy cow. Now this one here is a very nice mint uh, example. I do have one like this, but I don't know if it is this cherry mint. Let me smell. Oh, oh yeah, that that was way more cherrier than the other ones I got, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, even the sides are not even roughed up. This would have been sold in a in a box. Uh, the yellow ones, it wasn't until the yellow ones that they started putting those on blister packs. But this is beautiful. This is great. This is glorious. Got the uh, Land Rover on the hood. Very nice, or bonnet. <laughs> But yeah, just yeah, awesome. This is these are kind of dime a dozen, but when they come like this, they're worth more than a dime and a dozen of dimes too. All right, <laughs> moving right along. All right, what I got next is um, I got to really give a shout out to Dave. Go check him out. He uh, he he's a really cool guy. He plays a guitar in a band. He's got a couple of cute little kids. He's just an outstanding young young man. Uh, good old family man. He the only downfall is he loves uh, what is <laughs> now I forgot what it was. <laughs> He's uh, not auto art. Yeah, auto, is it auto art? Oh man, there's a certain 
brand and now it escapes me. I don't collect them because they don't do a Land Rover, but he, uh, he chases down and he's like five cars short of having the complete set of, oh man, what it, which, uh, oh man, what, Auto World, Auto World, that's the name of the company that, yeah, Auto World, uh, Precision 164 models. And like I say, he's got a he's got practically the con complete uh, series of that. But anyway, back to what he uh, gave me, gifted me, sold me. Oh, just a great guy. He gave me this bugger. Now, if you guys know anything about anything, yes, it's missing a ladder, and I'm probably going to take a ladder off uh, one of my cars here uh, out of my jammer and put it on there because I've got there. I just got to show you. I got a few of these. Yeah, well, I can't really show you. But anyway, I got a few of those. And, uh, yeah, and uh, also that's just my jammer. That's my overflow. I've got a display case. And i got to do a, a model review on these. Um, to date of this recording, I haven't done a model review of the, uh, what is it called? The number 57. Yes. The, yeah, um, Land Rover Fire Truck. Anyway. Uh, gray wheeled. If you know anything about anything, uh, gray wheeled is a as a variation or an early model or a late model. And uh, so yeah, I I've got to do that. He uh, he graciously did not give it to me for thirty dollars. Uh, he's just a very kind man. I think he was tired of it hanging around, banging around in his uh, cart. So he gave it to me. This is an actual decal one with the gray wheels, uh, not a sticker. Uh, the window is still intact. It's not roll, rumbling around in there. Someone did uh, do some customizing, but that's all right. But yeah, this is a very nice model. Shout out to you, Dave. Thank you very much. I can't, uh, I can't say thank you enough. And uh, hopefully some of my subscribers and watchers and viewers will go over there, check him out, hit, hit the like and subscribe on him. Talking about that, hit the like and subscribe here. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe Go on down to the description, and uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, visit over on Facebook at Roverland or on uh, Instagram at uh, Roverland Channel on Instagram. So check that out. So, yeah, there you go. This is just uh, kind of some things that I picked up from the Diecast Club. Not really an unboxing, not really a model review, but uh, just wanted to share this with you. Uh, you know, I'm yeah, always excited to show everybody what I have for my collection or what, what's being put into my collection. That's that's the biggest thing. What's the latest thing you added to your collection, huh? Yeah, share it over there on Facebook. Make a comment down below. Let me know. But for sure, give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you can. Yeah, I know you can. It won't hurt. It won't hurt. All right, there you go, my friends. Got to get out of here. You slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.